Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khalid Maidan. In today's video, we're going to be taking you through Thessaly's test. And the principal purpose of this test is to see whether or not our patient has a meniscal tear at the knee joint. Now, just to mention during the video, you're going to see it coming up on the screen next to me. Um, we're only going to be completing the test on one of our patient's knees. We're not going to be repeating it on the other side. And the reason for that is we don't want to slow your video down. But of course, in practice, it's always important that we compare the right and left sides. So let's go through the test. So your, you as a therapist is going to be standing with your hands out in front of you with your palms up. And this allows your patient to put their hands on top of yours for some support. We're going to make sure that the patient stands on one leg. That leg is going to be the leg that we're testing. And we're going to ask our patient to bring their knee into about 20 degrees of flexion. From there, as the therapist, we're going to walk ourselves round to one side and the other, which is going to create some rotation at the tibia, both internal and external rotation. There may also be some rotation at the hip, but it's principally the tibial rotation that we're looking for. Now, what is a positive result in this test? Well, as we said earlier, principally we're looking at the meniscus. And so if you hear a clunk during this test, then that might indicate to you that your patient has a meniscal tear. That might give you enough evidence to ask one of your specialists to, do, uh, to fill out a form for an MRI scan to investigate it further. There's a couple of other things to consider. Um, certainly, if your patient has a meniscal tear, this test may be painful for them. So consider the pain aspect of things, but ultimately for the meniscus, it's the clunk that you're looking for. Now, one other thing to consider is if your patient is unstable during this movement. So, for example, does their knee buckle? Now, what that might be due to is a tear of a particular ligament, and that might well be the ACL, the anterior cruciate ligament. Um, just bear that in mind. And if, if you're kind of thinking, well, there's a clunk there, there's also a little bit of instability, again, you might go back to your specialist and say, I wonder if we need an MRI scan to look at the meniscus, but also to look, see if your pa our patient has an ACL too. So what do we find in clinical practice? Well, it it's, can be quite an, ag uh, an aggravating or provocative test for your patient because of the fact that we're really stressing the meniscus during the test. So, for example, if you have an elderly patient, they may not have a meniscal tear, but they might find this test quite sensitive. So if you have a patient who has really irritable symptoms and you've gone through the rest of your test and this has been really sore and that's been really sore and it's a bit red and swollen, you're kind of thinking, hmm, they've got quite an irritable knee, you may want to leave off Thessaly's simply because it might not add very much to your clinical picture because it's going to be very painful and your patient's not going to want to move very much. However, if you're looking for that meniscal tear and your patient seems in the right um, position to do the test, go for it, see what you find. Now, one other thing just to mention as part of the use of this test in clinical practice is that it does have the potential to actually worsen your patient's meniscal tear because you're repeating one of the mechanisms that may well have torn the meniscus in the first place. So therefore, if you have gone through your subjective history and you've had a lot of signs that your patient might have a meniscal tear, and then you've gone through your objective assessment and you might have done some other special tests like an Apley's test, and that's shown to be positive for the meniscus as well. It may be inadvisable to add Thessaly's on top of that just in case you worsen the situation for your patient. 